I remember I was talking to my daughter and she said, mom, should I be a mommy or a scientist? And I said, Clarity, you can be a mom and a scientist. And she got so excited. She's like, I'm gonna be a mom and a scientist. And I think that was the moment I realized I can be a mom and a scientist. What I love about being at Mount Sinai is they said, of course family is number one. And that's just part of the culture here, to value family. One of the things I love about being a researcher and a scientist is its freedom to create through scientific discovery. I think this is the best time to be a neuroscientist. I think of this similar to the Renaissance because now we can visualize in the brain thousands of cells simultaneously. We can, like a piano, play in the brain which cells are going to fire and which cells are going to be silent. The main question in my lab is asking how is it that we're able to accumulate what seems like infinite number of memories across a lifetime file it correctly in our brains and know how to sort it and then retrieve it so we can accurately recall information. If we could understand how we can do that in a healthy brain, maybe we can understand what happens in a diseased brain. One of the things that we found is that as we get older, the cells in this area of the hippocampus fire less and they're less able to encode and store the memories. So we're starting to think about if we can predict the cognitive decline before Alzheimer's. If we can look for biomarkers early on to make predictions, maybe then we can prevent that kind of decline later on. What we were able to achieve was develop transformative neuroscience tools on an open source platform. There are over 400 labs now using this technology to then answer their own transformative research question. I love my job. It's my dream job. But my family always comes first, and people in my lab know this, my boss knows this, everyone knows this. Here at Mount Sinai, my dean, my chair, my faculty mentors, and my colleagues bend over backwards to help me and other junior faculty succeed. It's so wonderful to model that moms can be working moms, and they can be great moms, and they can be great scientists. I think to model that for our children is to create more opportunities for them so that they know they can do what they want. Maybe more important than the monetary award was the acknowledgement that as a woman with children, I belong here and that the institution wants to support me and see me succeed. It was really amazing affirmation to say, we want you here, we want to support you, we want to see you succeed in a holistic way.